I want to tell you about the three times I saw the Fairview Vampire. <laughs> my name is Orion. I live in Fairview with my beautiful wife, Matisse, and our four dogs. Monkey, little 35-pound chow charpe mix with a healthy dose of I don't really care what you think. Beautiful, thick, orange coat that literally led one street woman to exclaim, I would kill for hair like that. <laughs> Beautiful dog. Rizzo, 40 pounds, pit mix, Rottweiler, brindle coat, chow, black tongue. In the dark when he's coming at you, all you saw were big white fangs and two white eyes. He was the badass, the fun police. We called him Sarge. Spider-Man, 100 pounds, black lab mixed with black shepherd, mixed with noofy, big goofy lover of people, couldn't get enough, just wanted to please you. His nickname was Spider-Man. <laughs> Survey, about 95 pounds, a little bit lighter than Spider-Man, but a little bit taller, lanky, real long. He was a Mackenzie River Husky, for those of you who didn't grow up in the valley, that means he's this giant, weird-ass husky mix. <laughs> who knows? And it was Survey, who was all alone in the backyard the first time I saw the Fairview Vampire. I was laying on the couch, watching television. Before I go any further, let me say, the Fairview Vampire conjures, conjures to, Im to your mind many images, I'm sure, but let me give you the description. She looked the same all three times that I saw her. Short black stylish bob haircut, beautiful almond eyes, pale white skin, a light white blouse, which is weird in November in Anchorage, <laughs> a black mini skirt, I know it sounds crazy, knee high leather boots, swear to God, every time I saw her, that's what she looked like. And it was wintertime, it was like November, it was like right now, it could have been this week, six years ago. I'm laying on the couch watching TV, Matisse is washing dishes in the kitchen, Surveys outside alone. From Matisse's vantage at the sink, there's a window that goes to the backyard and she can see the entire run of six foot security fence that separates our backyard from our front yard. Six foot security fence, no purchase, nothing to grab. You cannot see cedar boards on both sides. Three things happen simultaneously as I'm watching television. Whack -a -whack -a -whack the fence rattles against the house. Matisse yells out, some chick just jumped the fence. Survey starts screaming, I, 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 which is hugely disconcerting from a hundred pound dog that big. I leapt up off the couch. I said, Rizzo to me. At least that's how I remember it. We booked to the back door. Just as I put my hand on the door, Survey stopped screaming. I ripped the door open and he's just standing there staring at the neighbor's fence, the six foot security fence with nothing to grab onto and you can't see through it. She jumped over the other fence. That was the first time. Matisse described what she looked like to me. That's how I know what she looked like. The second time, <laughs> in case you guys were wondering, the second time I saw the Fairview Vampire, it was like a week later. And I'm riding my bike to work. I worked at a very popular downtown breakfast spot, which I won't name. I'm, I'm biking Snow City, and I'm riding my bicycle there. <laughs> it's winter time. The snow is gently falling, so I'm like very quiet as I'm crushing across the one inch of fresh snow, you know. And I'm coming up Cordova, and I pass 11th, and there's kind of a rise there. And inexplicably, I mean not inexplicably, the battery died, but my headlight went out. <laughs> it just happened to do it then, which was weird. Light blinks out, snow's gently falling, it's dark outside. So now I'm invisible as well as silent, which is awesome. <laughs> squeaky, 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 coming up the hill. Just past 9th, going up Cordova, there's the graveyard. You all know that graveyard, the Anchorage Cemetery. There's a security truck kind of pulled off in front of those gates right there, and the driver's door's wide open. Nobody's around. I'm coming up the hill behind it. All of a sudden, here comes the Fairview Vampire, walking across the street. Leather high knee boots, short black skirt, light white blouse, bobby cool hair, beautiful almond eyes. I'm telling you, it sounds crazy, but that's what she was looking like. That's what I saw. She walks across the street. She climbs into the cab of the open security truck. Then I see the security guard. He comes running out of the graveyard. Hey, get the f away from that truck. And he runs around the front of the truck and he grabs the door and he's like, hey, what the f are you doing in my truck? And she turns around 
and puts her hands on the top two corners of the doorway. She puts her feet on the two bottom door and she spreads her legs and she goes <sighs> Just at that time, I'm riding my silent invisible bicycle behind the guy. Baby! <laughs> Pounding up that hill. So you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. She saw me commit this act. She smelled me. She knows where I live. She was at my house a week before. She's probably there waiting for me now to get home from work to kill me. So I'm thinking about that all day at work. I told a couple close friends, hey man, if I don't come in tomorrow, there's some crazy shit going on. I rode my bike home that day from work. I swung by the cemetery just to see. No truck, no pink snow, no sign of any foul play. So you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. She fed, she glamored him. She sent him along his way. She's at my house waiting for me to get there to feed on me now. I know, it sounds crazy. The third time I saw the Fairview Vampire, about a week later, my wife and I had applied for a multi-animal facility license from the municipality of Anchorage because it was cheaper than registering all four dogs individually. I'm sure you understand. They send a guy to your house to inspect your house, make sure you don't have bleach next to the dog food, next to the dish full of water. And we're thinking, oh man, I should get a couple of these more people reactive dogs out of here before the inspector shows up. And I was like, you know what? I should just get all the dogs out of here because I don't want them acting all hanky when the inspector's here. Of course, we didn't realize when they come to inspect your house for a municipality multi-animal facility license, they actually want to see the dogs. But that's another story. So I take all four dogs for a walk, which I don't usually do because they're kind of a lot to handle. It's like 300 pounds a dog with several teeth, two on each side. And I'm kind of wandering around the neighborhoods by 15th and Carluck. I keep seeing people walking dogs and stuff, so I keep taking lefts and rights. And I end up kind of as goofy. I get stuck on Chester Creek Trail somehow. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to be on Chester Creek Trail. Man, it's hanky down there. There's lots of people. It's getting dark. It's pretty cold. There's not a lot of people around. I've got all four dogs. You know, we're cruising around. We've been walking about a mile, so everyone's kind of falling in come around a the corner, there's the Fairview Vampire, standing in the middle of the trail. I know this sounds crazy, this is how it happened. She's standing there, mini skirt, knee boots, blouse. She's looking right at me. I come around the corner with the four dogs. My heart drops, shrivels up, voice cracking. I was very afraid. She just smiles at me. I'm looking at her, she's looking at me. All four dogs, 300 pounds of dog, they act like she ain't even there. They don't even see her. I had to move them off the trail to avoid walking into her weird. As I'm walking by, I'm looking at her. As I'm walking by, she's looking at me. She's smiling. I get past her, and I just kept on walking. Or at least, I think I kept on walking. Thank you.